Marcus's Iron Man ability on the diamond and the fact that he's played the second most games of anyone over the last two seasons for, uh-oh, he forgot he was on deck. That was amazing right there. <laughs> what a timely report, too. I mean, that is oh stunning. Oh, my goodness. You that can take him to amazing. lunch. Okay, oh, well, man. he forgot where we were in the lineup. Here he comes. Needless to say, he still played the second most games next to Freddie Freeman. <laughs> High pop, and this one's headed toward the catwalk. I think it's up there. It hit it. Did it no. Hit it? it never came down, did it? It's up there. I think it's stuck. Up there. It's stuck. Wind <laughs> Look at it. The sky is falling. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was deked. He thought he had a, a beat on it. There were three or four of them. Here's the three two to Sable. Two broken bats and two swings. He'll have to get another piece of lumber. He's going to stick with it, I guess. He thinks it's okay. It sure sounded like he broke it. But for a general manager today, used to be you made a deal at this time has often come before the final decision. Yeah, it was broken, and now it's broken for good. Miller has it, <laughs> one away. That was sawed off if there ever was one. That, that looks exactly like a pizza paddle. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> uh oh. It didn't take a lot to do that. They're going to take a look at this bat now. They see uh -oh. something on the inside of this. How about that? That's a stream of cork running right up and down Chris Sabo's bat. They're going to go Ed in and they're going to eject him from the ball game. All right, that could. Well, let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's bored out. Of court, no doubt buddy. about that. There's a board with him batting practice, and that has happened in the past. And he gets caught using it in the ball game and seeing it explode on him. That's about a hitter's worst nightmare. If you know you're cheating, and then you know you got caught. Again, he did break his bat, and I tell you one thing, Chris, you would figure if the bat Tom Hallion gobbling some up. All those wine bottles. Wonder what vintage it was. <laughs> Wally Bell will take the rest of it. Here's another look. Watch this ball. Just look at the little pieces of cork coming out of that bat. That is classic. <laughs> The way he looked at somebody on the bench and said, I use your bat. <laughs> you got to go down and talk with the crew chief, Paul Emmel, about something. Oh, boy. Is he calling out a substance on Brian Mattis' arm? Like we saw Will Smith thrown out for a couple of days ago in Milwaukee. Like we saw Michael Pineda suspended for last year in New York. Buck Showalter comes to see. Well, it's interesting because I saw Dan Jennings go talk to the hitting coach for the Marlins, Frankie Benakino. They had obviously seen something out on the mound. I think the discussion was more or less, should we say something? Is that some sort of substance? And obviously, with a quick two outs, Dan Jennings took it upon himself to bring it to the attention of the umpire. It's going to be an awkward conversation. He's been thrown out of the game. Brian Mattis becomes the second big league pitcher this week to get thrown out of a game for a foreign substance. Nothing to take him. Davey Johnson asking to look at the ball or the glove, maybe, of Jay Howell. And they want the crew chief, Harry Wendelstedt, to come in as well. Joe West is the plate up high. Now Lasorda wants to know what's going on. The inside of the glove. You notice Dempsey had his hand in there, and Joe West kind of slapped it out, out of the way. And this comes with a count of three balls and two strikes. It's like a well, Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, as an umpire, you have to, number one, make a decision. And threw him out of the ball game. Yeah, look at this. Can you believe this? But obviously, they've got the evidence. From where Davey Johnson was, Joe West 
is out there. He called in Harry Wendelstead, and Joe is checking the string. And it seemed that Harry went in to look for moisture, and he found it. He found something, but then he went back into the glove to look for more moisture. That might be one reason that Rick Dempsey was kind of reaching in there to take the glove away. What yeah. now, my glove? Cheat, cheat, cheat is the chant. And this is unprecedented in that this has never happened, to my knowledge, in, in postseason. So now the question becomes, what about the rest of postseason action? And we'll try to get a clarification on that as soon as we can. That's Ed Vargo again behind Jamadi. Vargo is the National League supervisor of umpires. Well, it's so interesting is that, that Pena seemed to have Isaiah Kiner Falefa. This one rifled down to third base. Wendell gets in a race to third, and for a moment there, I think lost his sense. There's the bunt. That could be trouble as Petrie. No, Stevie dives in and beats it. Good effort by Steve Lyons. That'll be a base hit right there. Good job. I'll tell you one thing, not a bad defensive play either by the Tigers. Did you see that? <laughs> He's going to get the dirt out, and all of a sudden he unbuckled his pants, and they fell down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Foul. All right, Mike Becker held it long enough. Easy, stand Ooh. your feet. All right, he's good. He's good.